Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. As a part of our math and art series, we are going to do a bit of math and origami today by creating a box, otherwise known as a rectangular prism. So we have this box right here. And we're also going to be making a square base pyramid. So this is our square base pyramid. So we're gonna find these shapes using origami and then we're gonna be finding the volume of each shape that we bake. So in order to do this lesson here, if you wanna follow along, you're gonna need one piece of printer paper that's eight and a half by 11, and one sheet of origami paper, which is really just a square piece of paper. Um, so the, the measurements I'm gonna be using for this square piece of paper are measured eight by eight. So, that, so it's eight inches this way and eight inches this way going all the way around. Now we are ready, let's make our first shape. Let's make a box or a rectangular prism. So, so the first thing we're going to want to do is take our paper and fold it the long way. In half. Then we're going to open it back up and fold to the middle. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we did this the long way where we, made, where we made four equal sections, and now we're going to do the same thing the short way. So we're going to fold this in half this way. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take the corner and bring it to, to the top of this first, our first crease here. And we're going to do that for, for each of them. So there's going to be a little space here, notice. So just keep that there. And we're going to do this all the way around. OK, so we folded all our corners all the way around. And now we're going to take this piece and just fold it over like that. And do the same thing on the other side. So we're pretty much done here. So all, now, all we need to do now is to open up our box. So if we just kind of move this around and pinch the corners, we get our box. So, so it's an open box. It's not exactly a rectangular prism, but we can kind of just imagine that there's a, another layer here uh, for the top that would represent our rectangular prism. So here comes the fun part, the least fun part, I don't know, but here's the volume of the rectangular prism that we're gonna find. Because out of origami, we can now find the volume of our rectangular prism. So a rectangular prism really should have a top um, layer over here to enclose our box, but we're kind of just gonna pretend that it's there. Um, we could also technically fill up this box with the volume, with water, with whatever we want to fill with our box. So. So it still has the potential for finding volume. So, so the formula for so the formula for volume of rectangular prism is length times width times height. So it's a super easy, it's the most easy one to remember. And now we're just gonna solve it here. So I took the time to measure out uh, with a with a ruler each length, width, and height of our box. So so I labeled it here. So you can. Pause the video if you want to do that on your own, or you can just uh, take my measurements for value right here. So the length, so that's the long side right here, is 5.375 inches. The width, the shorter side, is 4.25 inches. And then the height going up and down is 2.125 inches. So to get the volume, we're just going to multiply all these three things together. So we have the length, 5.375 times the width, 4.25, times the height, 2.125. So if we take out our calculator and multiply these all together, we get five. We get, it's a really long number, so let's write this out. We get 48.5, 4, 2, 9, 6, 8, 7, 5. So I'm gonna, this is kind of a crazy long number, so I'm gonna round it to the nearest tenth. So when we do that, we get 48.5. And to label it, since it's volume, 
um, if you look at back at our at our units of measurement, we want to label this in inches cubed. And the reason it is inches cubed is because we multiplied these three different values together. So, note, so each of these represent inches. So 5.375, that's the length in inches, times 4.25, the width in inches, times 2.125, the height in inches. So it's like multiplying inches times inches times inches, or inches cubed. So that is how we get our answer. 48.5 inches cubed. Next, we are going to make this square-based pyramid out of origami. So remember, I'm using this sheet of origami paper, 8x8. Eight eight. You could just cut this out of a regular piece of paper or use something that's already pre-made, like this one here. And then we're going to find and measure the volume. So first, we're going to fold each corner to itself. So to the other side. So this corner will go to this corner. And then we're going to open it up and then do the same thing on the other side. Now we're going to open this up again. And now that we have our creases, we can kind of push these into the middle and then push this down. Now we are going to make a diamond shape by taking this first little flap here on the outside and just bringing it up to the corner here. And we're going to do that three more times all the way around. Next we're going to take this piece and bring it to the inside. And then we're going to do this all, all the way around again. So now that we have all our creases, we can, we can unfold this. We had it open. We had it closed like this. So we're going to actually open it. And then we're going to just take this little triangle guy and turn him down and then put this back into place. And again, we're going to do this all the way around. So here we're going to open it up. We have our crease and we have this little triangle. We're going to put this down and then put it back. And the same thing on the other side. So once that's done, we can actually, we're pretty much done here and we can actually open up our pyramid. So here's our square base pyramid. So we have a pyramid, um, our 3D shape, and then you can see on the bottom it has a square base. So this one looks a little harder to see, but this one came out better if you take a look at that. So, so now that we have our shape, we can find the volume of the square base pyramid. So the volume of a square base pyramid is base squared times height over three. So the base, um, since it's a square, if you measure one side, that'll, it's going to be the same all around. So here we have the base is 2.25 inches and the height is 2.75 inches. So now we could just plug in these numbers into our formula. So the volume is equal to base squared or 2.25 squared times the height 2.75 all over three. So if we take this and plug it into our calculator, let's see what we get. So we have 2.25 squared times 2. Point, let's put this in parentheses. 2.75 divided by 3, and we get 4.640625. So again, this looks like a really long number to me, so I'm going to round to the nearest tenth and get 4.6 inches cubed. And notice again, when we're labeling this, we use inches cubed again because our unit of, measure of measurement is inches and we're multiplying inches three times. So we have the base, which is 
2.25 and we're multiplying that times itself two times so that's two and then the height is in inches and uh, that gives us three so inches cubed so so that's our answer i hope i hope this made finding the volume of a shape a bit more fun so if you're looking for more math and art check out this playlist right here and if you like this video please give it a like and subscribe thanks so much for stopping by and happy calculating Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!